So you want to know how to get this outfit or maybe this outfit or this outfit and a bunch of unlimited smoothie recipe items? You're watching the right video. If you played Zelda Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, you should be used to getting a bunch of rewards from scanning an amiibo. But the question is, how do amiibos work in Echoes of Wisdom and what rewards do you get? As this function slightly different. You'll first be able to start scanning amiibos once you have access to the open map of the game and you will get a pop-up when you open up your settings notifying you that you can start scanning amiibos. Unfortunately, this game doesn't allow you to scan any amiibos that are not Zelda amiibos. So you'll get this notification on the screen when you try to do something like that. So all your other amiibos you own are a complete waste of money for this game if they aren't from any Zelda series. But luckily, you'll be able to scan all 28 Zelda amiibos in this game. So now let's talk about how amiibo drops work. There's gonna be drops that happen from the early game game, mid game, all up until the end game. Now all the drops are going to be very similar for all these points of the game. However, for the mid game is where we're going to be getting the special stuff, but we'll get there. So when you're able to start scanning amiibos, you can do three amiibos a day. One, two, and three. Now these amiibos are simply going to drop ingredients that you'll be getting throughout your adventures in the game. And while it may not seem a lot, these ingredients are going to be really important for making certain smoothies or creating potions. And you get them dropped usually in groups of five. And sometimes you'll get golden eggs as well, which drop by twos. Now some of the items that you get, as I mentioned before, are going to be for potions and for smoothies. Kelps are going to help you breathe underwater longer, while river horses help you swim faster. Grapes are just a little addition onto the fruits. Electro apples will provide resistance to electricity, which is going to be useful because electric monsters are absolutely insane. Warm peppers to heat you up. Honey to boost the effects of other ingredients. Milk will help with the healing effects with hearts. Chili cactus is great for areas that are very hot, so it'll cool you down. Rock Tato's great for climbing speed. Rock Salt, another additional ingredient. Radiant Butter helps you actually glow in the dark. Twisted Pumpkins help you with wind-up speed, which I do talk about in my automaton videos, which are extremely broken. Monster Guts will produce strong effects for potions, and Monster Fangs are the high-quality version that will produce even stronger effects. Basically, it just will last longer. Mangoes are going to give damage resistance, great for hard-hitting bosses. And golden eggs are just going to enhance and boost other ingredients when you later mix them in smoothies. But the smoothie video is going to be a whole different video. Now, while again, this may not seem worth it, sometimes you're going to have to go through this game, defeat a bunch of enemies and go through this entire giant puzzle just to find five electro apples. So I would say scanning your amiibo is a lot more efficient. Not only that, but they made date skipping so easy in the game where I can just scan my one, two, three amiibos. Then I can go to my switch settings to the date part, jump up a day, come right back and I can scan three amiibos again. Not only that, but with these amiibos, you can then get all these ingredients ingredients and then sell them to shops which will allow you to then do further upgrades later on in the game or buy certain things that you may find that you want. So even though you may not get any outfit drops in the beginning of the game, this is very useful. I didn't even realize we just came up with a money farming glitch while talking about this. Now let's move on to the good stuff like the amiibo outfits. Now you'll know you have reached the mid game point after the events at Hyrule Castle are complete. That's all I'm going to say. Now at this point of the game, it's where Zelda doesn't need a disguise anymore and Zelda's actually going to be given another outfit. And because Zelda doesn't need a disguise, well, this means that we can now scan our amiibos to get certain outfits. We know this because when you open up the settings in the game, you'll get a notification that more amiibo items are now available. And luckily for me, these are the three amiibos I scanned. The first one was Arbosa that gave me a black cat outfit. Now, I didn't see any point at first with this outfit, but this outfit actually allows you to go around the game and talk to cats and they talk back to you. It's, it's kind of crazy. In fact, there's even a quest line in the game that requires you to talk to cats. And these outfits are actually based on alternate versions of already made outfits in the game. So when I talked to an NPC, he mentioned something about a lady selling a cat outfit, but I already had one. So he was kind of shocked. So it's kind of cool that the NPCs even recognized I was wearing an amiibo outfit. Now besides Urbosa, here are the other amiibo that will also be able to give you 
this exact same black cat outfit. These also include the rest of the champions, both Ganondorfs, the Bokoblin amiibo, and the Guardian amiibo. I also wanted to point out that you can't double up on outfits and try to sell them to shops. You just get one outfit drop. And after that, those amiibos will just start dropping the regular loot tables of Electro Apples, Grapes, Monster Parts. Basically, all the ingredients start to happen again. Now, the next amiibo that I scanned in my game was the Zelda amiibo from Smash Bros. And that gave me the reward of the blue attire, which is also an alternative costume of something already in the game. This is what it looks like on Zelda. It's very demure. It's very elegant. Looks very nice, very cutesy. And the cool part about scanning a Zelda amiibo is that actually every single Zelda amiibo after the mid game point gives you this outfit. So it just doesn't have to be the one I had. The final one that I scanned was Smash Bros. Link, and that one gave me the red tunic, which actually is my favorite outfit on Zelda. She's basically rocking an alternative costume of Link, which is cool because the actual tunic in the game that you can get is the green tunic. So having the red exclusive one to Amiibo is very nice. Now to get this outfit, all you need to do is scan any Link Amiibo. But what's really important is checking out this video over here because you may find out something in this game that you need to do. So click it 